beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ava from the Garden of Eve and um, I wanted to make an update video since it has been a while that I made a video that I uploaded a video. In the meantime I have recorded some videos but the thing is um, I find it really hard to look back at myself while I'm editing. I really love editing videos but Preferably someone else's <laughs> So um, that's one of the reasons why I haven't been uploading many videos So I was thinking maybe I should just um, not put as much effort in it I guess Or you know just talk and upload my videos straight away I don't know um, I also want to get used to hearing my voice uh, and watching myself back on camera but it's definitely a challenge. I guess I'm still quite self-conscious. It's something that I'm working on. <laughs> but this is a good exercise. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't uploaded a video in a while. But also I've been quite busy with some of my new hobbies. And just some changes in my life. So I've been um, painting a lot. Which I really enjoy. And I just noticed that I have these um, phases where um, I'm really into creating new things. For example, uh, sometimes I, I have a period where I write a lot of poetry or I write some short stories, things like that. And I don't really feel um, like f posting my work right away after I create something it's just an ongoing process and then all of a sudden that process is finished and then I feel like putting it out there so I'm not sure if that is the best strategy for gaining an audience for gaining followers but it just works best for me and it's how I use my energy most effectively and the same thing goes for the filming. Sometimes I really feel like making a video and sometimes there's a period where I don't feel like making a video. So that's why I don't uh, have a clear schedule. I, I really, I do want to uh, make a clear schedule, but I'm not trying to force myself at the moment. I'm just trying to figure things out and um, yeah, maybe in time I will get a better routine into making videos as well. So as I said lately, I've been uh, painting a lot. Uh, it's a relatively new hobby, although when I was younger, I enjoyed, uh, enjoyed painting as well. I made some, uh, I made quite a lot of watercolor paintings when I was young and I really enjoyed drawing. Uh, so yeah. And Lately I've been making acrylic paintings. Initially I really wanted to make realistic paintings but I figured that maybe that was not a good idea since I'm quite the perfectionist and if something doesn't go well, like if it doesn't, is it, isn't realistic enough then I get really <laughs> angry with myself and frustrated and then I w won't continue to enjoy the hobby. So for now I'm focusing on more abstract work and maybe uh, after some time I um, will start to do some realistic work again. But as but actually I've been really enjoying it as well because I realized how helpful it is to pour in my emotions in the work and I've been using some of my, I guess I call it my synesthetic gifts, <laughs> into the work as well. Um, when I'm done talking I will show some of it to you. And in the back there are some smaller paintings, some mandala paintings, uh, which are one of the first things I made, just you know, for fun. It's not really that spectacular, but you know, colorful, nice. Um, so yeah, it's really been helping me to pour in my emotions and as I said, help me express um, my synesthesia 
Um, for those who don't understand what that is, synesthesia is um, a mechanism that some people have, especially autistic people, but doesn't necessarily you don't need necessarily need to be autistic that where you have an association between one feeling or um, observation can be many things actually with something else so some people they um, they read and they see the letters in a certain color or they hear music and they see colors according to the tones and the notes that they hear. Uh, you can also have emotional associations, which was something that I used to have as a child, that um, I had emotional associations with numbers, which was quite a challenge and um, nobody really knew what was going on, but I, was really, I had really trouble with maths, maths because of it. For example, I had certain numbers that I really, really disliked. I really hated certain numbers or really loved certain numbers and some were neutral and some I, li I liked a little bit and some I liked. Okay. Um, so that made maths um, quite difficult. But I don't really... I mean, I still know how those numbers made me feel, but I don't really get emotional anymore about it, so it's all fine now. <laughs> but what I still have is that I experience certain emotions in colors and um, I experience people in colors or their emotional state or um, I guess how their energy is. I, I, I always find it a bit strange to talk about it because um, it sounds like I can read auras, but it's, that's, not, that's not it. Um, sometimes I suspect it is a, a similar thing because, um, how do I explain it? Well, I've, I've read about this as well and I feel like there are certain similarities in what those people see and how they explain how the, um, how the, the auras of the, how the people with these auras are like the qualities ascribed to a certain color do match up with the experience that experiences that I have. So yeah, there are some similarities, but I generally I don't see the color. I just know the color. I mean, I experience it, and it's just there. Um, so that's why I find the painting, painting really helpful because it allows me to really um, feel the colors and express them from my own emotions as well as what I experience in other people and I can also get the more detailed picture because generally I f just focus on one, two, three colors I see within someone or I experience within myself uh, and it's not as detailed as when I really take the time to focus on on that observation. So uh, I noticed that generally there are many more colors that I experience, and that's that's really fun just to get into the details of of that. Um, some of you might think I'm crazy, but it's really really what I experience and. Uh, I've really been enjoying myself that way. <laughs> I've also just been uh, experimenting with some uh, pouring techniques. I've, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos about acrylic pouring and it's so awesome. Uh, if you really enjoy those, um, those videos, yeah, those stimming videos, or slime videos, things like that, then you might also enjoy acrylic pouring videos. It's it's so cool to see how the colors, you know, move everywhere. And um yeah, how new colors appear and yeah, it's just fun to watch and also fun to do. It's not that's not really that hard if you um feel like you're not 
that artistic but you want to try painting and just fooling around then um, acrylic pouring could be uh, something for you it's really fun to do uh, so yeah that's what I've been up to also another less happy reason why I haven't been posting that much is because I've been feeling really tired um, Actually, a few weeks ago, I really was at a low point concerning my energy. And it was a bit of a vicious cycle because sometimes I still um, have really low energy because of my burnout. Sometimes I just do a lot for a couple of days and I really crash hard. Um, and the problem is that, I, that I'm so tired that I don't really take good care of myself, so I don't eat very well and it makes me more tired. So I was in a kind of a vicious cycle where I didn't really take good care of myself. So since about a week now, uh, I feel a lot better. I've been taking really good care of myself. I've been eating a lot more raw foods, fruits, vegetables, and um, just less processed foods, which I was... Um, yeah, eating quite a lot before, even though, you know, I really, I really tried, tried my best, but it was just a vicious cycle of being tired and, you know, uh, but I want to be a good example, practice what I preach, <laughs> because I often, you know, tell people what is healthy, what's not, and, uh, you know, I really enjoy educating myself on nutrition and I find it important to also implement it so that's why I was like okay I need to change this this is not good so that's what I did and uh, yeah I've been eating more raw foods usually during the day I eat a lot of raw foods and in the evening I do eat a warm meal because I just enjoy warm meals and it's I am um, I'm not like uh, convinced that eating 100% raw is healthy or necessary so, um, yeah, and I've been adding vegetable juice to my diet. I guess that's been really doing the trick. I drink about, I guess, between half a liter to a liter of vegetable juice every day. Usually I use cucumber. Um, Carrots, um, sometimes I add some apple juice with it, turmeric and celery. Yeah, that's what I mostly use. I just find cucumber juice actually pretty pretty nice. So, And I've been drinking turmeric shots. Here's a bottle that I drank this morning. It's empty though, but you can still see it's yellow from the turmeric. So... Yeah, just been trying my best and I feel a lot better. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep this up. At least I'm going to keep the vegetable juice up. I'm not sure if I'm going to drink these shots for the rest of my life because you know it's quite expensive. But I thought, since I did, I didn't really have that much energy. I thought maybe just give myself um, some peace and just buy these to give myself a head start, and that that was nice. So, yeah, I hope to post more videos, but I'm not going to promise anything because, yeah, if I don't, then I feel guilty and I don't like feeling, feeling guilty. <laughs> um, yeah, I will show you some of my paintings that I made in a bit. So, yeah, okay. So I just, I collected them together so I can, can show them all at once to you. This is one of the first paintings I made um, with the color thing that I was talking about. In real life the colors are a bit less neon-ish, <laughs> but the screen here it seems, the colors seem even brighter, so that's good to know. So yeah. Initially, I was, you know, making a lot of drawings with these colors. I would, every day, I would make a drawing about how I feel with, with the lines and colors. And um, then I was thinking, why not try to paint one? 
So obviously this takes more than one day. <laughs> this, this, yeah, there, there are a lot of layers in this painting. So it was just, um, uh, yeah, I guess it took me more than a week to, to paint this painting. And it is called, uh, not every painting has a name by the way, but this one is called Eclipse of the Heart. And I guess you can see there is a person in there. And the rectangle in the painting um, resembles some sort of impediment on the stream of the colors and the lines. And the middle rectangle um, is placed over where the heart is. So, yeah. I'm not going to explain everything because that's up to you <laughs> to interpret what you think of it. So yeah, this is one of the first one I've been painting. Um, then... Oh, I need to be more careful with this. Um, then I made this painting. And initially I wanted to add more color to it. But, um, yeah, I thought that just, you know, this simplicity really captured what I meant with it. These are um, fragments that are searching for a connection, they are searching for love. You know, some of them, they found each other and some of them are still searching or they are close. Um, and yeah, um, I guess it really resembles how I've been feeling internally. <laughs> um, and maybe some people relate to it, but yeah. This is very abstract, as you can see. This is another one of the color patterns. I really like this one because it um, feels a bit gentler, I guess. And that's also what it needs to express. This is one of the acrylic pouring and this was so much fun, you know, I I didn't really know at that point what I was, what I wanted to make for another painting. So I just thought let's just have some fun. <laughs> and this is, this is one of the results of the acrylic pouring. And it's like, there are many colors in here, let me try to see if I can um, you can see there are those cells where the gold pops out a little bit um, yeah it's very shiny I used metallic colors and I really like this blue color teal is it it's more t a teal color blue greenish but very bright so yeah, it looks beautiful. I'm so happy with this result. Damn it. So I will definitely make more of these acrylic pourings. I know that it's not the most complicated work, but I just really, really enjoy just making these and maybe I can do a video uh, to show you how I how I do it there are many many videos on YouTube as well that show you how to do an acrylic pouring there are many types of techniques as well so you know if you're interested in doing something like that just you know type in those keywords acrylic pouring and you will find it so these are some some with the similar colors um i like these as well because it's a little bit thicker you know looks looks chic i guess 
So these are some of the mandala paintings that I made when I was just starting out. I always... I always enjoy drawing mandalas, so I thought why not paint them as well. So what I did was I um, used a white paint to um, create those uh, thick layers and um, create relief in them. And then, you know, created the mandalas. I really like the blue one. This one's really nice. So I'm going to practice more with this. Um, I bought some brushes that are finer, so those will be better. And the other one. Yeah, this one. Look, this is really, really pretty. Yeah, great. I'm happy. And here are some smaller acrylics as well, acrylic pouring. And this one, I'm really pleased with this one. So I'm going to show it from closer, a little bit closer. So the lines here are gold. I used a rope to um, create a pattern in the painting. And I just it was just was a gradual process. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just Yeah, I just knew I wanted to use a rope with some sort of pattern and I was just creating it along the way. I didn't know the end result. <laughs> and this is the end result. So the rope is gold and the The sides are also in gold. And here I used an acrylic pouring technique. Oh my god, this was such a hassle. I had to do it over and over to create. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry, my camera is quite old, so I have to regulate the whole zooming situation. But yeah, I had to do this pouring technique over and over to create the result that I wanted. <laughs> and um, for the outside, I used the same technique as I used with the uh, mon mandalas. Mandalas. But, you know, I had to do many many layers to create this thick uh, relief and uh, yeah this one took me a very long time as many layers but I'm very happy with the result and uh, yeah it looks beautiful so flowy I guess maybe it's not any everyone's taste but I really really like it uh, so yeah that's what I've been up to, been up to lately, and um, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, if you want me to post some of the acrylic pouring videos that I was talking about, or if you want to watch me paint or draw, I also really like to make drawings with fine liners. Maybe that would be fun to watch, and I can you know talk a little bit <laughs> or something like. That. So yeah, let me know what you think of these paintings and if you want to see those acrylic pouring paintings that I was talking about or if you just want to see me make other paintings. I mean, yeah, acrylic pourings I can make videos where you can also see the end result straight away if I make those uh, bigger paintings or, you know, just the uh, color paintings that takes me a long time so <laughs> um, 
uh, maybe I can do a painting and talk video or something like that <laughs> but just let me know if you think that would be interesting um, so yeah I also wanted to say that I got a really quite a weird comment on one of my videos um, I think it was on the psychiatric psychiatric meds video and it asked me to explain how I was doing so I hope that this video answers it somewhat and um, yeah just for your information I am not taking any meds at the moment for a long time now um, when I made that video I was tapering off meds and ever since uh, you know I came off of them completely and I don't take any medications anymore um, Sometimes I take sleeping meds if it's really necessary, if I'm, you know, going somewhere or sleeping somewhere else than in my own home, then I still need it, but generally I don't take any meds anymore and I feel actually a lot, lot better. I feel more like myself <laughs> and, um, yeah, sometimes it's a little bit hard because I, I, I used to, um, you know, regulate myself through the mess so I would you know knock myself out uh, to be able to sleep and then the uh, other mess would you know wake me up and keep me okay during the day but it was really healthy I was just forcing myself to be in a certain regime so I could participate in certain activities you know um, that I didn't even want to participate in so now I really have to listen to my body and sometimes that means I don't really sleep well at night or I sleep very late and I sleep a little bit in and sometimes I wake up very early and it used to frustrate me a lot but lately I just think who gives a fuck <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not maybe I'm not supposed to say that but it doesn't really matter because I can determine my own schedule so if I want to work in the middle of the night, if I want to paint in the middle of the night, draw in the middle of the night, who cares? As long as I'm not doing anything to disturb anyone, it doesn't really matter if I want to wake up very, really early and work or something like that, then that's also fine. So I've been just listening to my body when it's tired, I sleep. And when I feel excited and I want to do stuff, then I do stuff. It's really that simple. Um, yeah, I can imagine that's not suitable for everyone, um, but for me it works at the moment and I don't really want to go back to taking meds. I don't really see any reason for me to do so, since I feel so exceptionally well. Um, I've actually, I, I actually, I feel really happy. I don't think I felt this good ever. Um, <laughs> Really, I, I really have moments where I'm like, oh, I feel so blessed and I feel so amazing and I really, I never have experienced it to this extent. Um, that is because I, since I was a very young kid, I had uh, depressive episodes and it just doesn't seem to be here anymore. Oh, I also... <laughs> There's also something else that might have helped with that, but I'm going to going to um, make another video on that to keep you excited as well. But you you're probably gonna like it or not, but I don't care. Um, so yeah, um, I guess this is quite a long video. Thank you very much for watching. If you're still here with me, um, I hope you subscribe to my channel and like this video. If not, that's okay too, but it would really su really um, support me and keep me motivated to post videos. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really want to have a hundred subscribers. I guess it's um, not that much, but I'm almost, almost there, so please help me out. And um, I hope to see you next time. Bye.